Ladies and some breaking news now out of Attleboro. Fire crews called to the scene of a fire at a home. This is on East Bacon Street just after 430 this morning. We want to check back in with Madeline Wright. She's been live on the scene for about an hour now following the latest developments. Madeline? A frightening start this morning for three people inside this Attleboro home. They woke up to find their house on fire and rushed to put it out. Now, as you can see, it's still an active scene here, and there's a large hole in the roof. The fire is out, but crews are still keeping an eye on hot spots flaring up. Now, take a look at some video from earlier this morning. The Attleboro deputy fire chief tells me they got a 911 call about the fire here on East Bacon Street just before 4 o'clock this morning. He says crews found the roof on fire, and they spent about an hour trying to put the flames out. The deputy chief tells me the home is unlivable. The second floor has collapsed and that it may be a loss. The homeowner, 82 year old Gordon Clark, tells me his grandson is blaming himself for the fire, that it was a discarded cigarette. Investigators are looking into that as a possibility. Clark says he woke up when all three alarms in the house went off at the same time and all he could see was smoke. He and his grandson tried to put the flames out with a garden hose, but it was of no use. Clark says he'll stay with his son Dave, who lives in the area. Clark's neighbors say he was he's a nice person who's always willing to lend a helping hand. Very helpful guy. Very, very helpful. During winter, he helped me with like shovel the snow and everything. And the wife I know, she's a nurse too. So and I feel bad and I feel sad. The deputy fire chief tells me one firefighter was hurt with burns on his hand, and the homeowner says the fire started at the back of the house and spread through the walls. Live in Attleboro with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.